darling please understand that i have done my best to be lenient and patient with you i understand that you are still getting accustomed to working in the palace i understand that you're still having trouble navigating all the twisting hallways and corridors that much is understandable and i can forgive you for being a few minutes late when i send for you however darling i'm afraid i have to demand an explanation for this i sent for you so that you could help me prepare for supper with a potential suitor of mine now i realize that might not be very important to you how i present myself might not be very important to you but your job should be very very important to you and as your employer anything that is important to me should be important to you now what exactly was so urgent and so time consuming that it took you an hour to get to my room after i sent for you i i beg your pardon you were seeking medical attention darling darling please come in and have a seat please do forgive me i i didn't realize darling are you all right you took a nasty spill down the stairs darling you could have sent someone to inform me you should have sent someone to inform me i would have insisted that you get plenty of time to focus on resting you clearly need it it wasn't a serious injury was it but it was still an injury darling you know better than to lie to me don't you you are most certainly not fine i used to fall down those stairs all the time when i was a child i nearly broke my leg on several occasions tell me what exactly is your diagnosis oh really it's only a bit of bruising and you wouldn't happen to have any way to prove that would you oh oh that that does look rather bad but i suppose considering the circumstances it's not as bad as it could be still i would like to insist that you take some time to rest something like that it it can certainly be rather frightening and looking at the size and placement of this bruise darling did it hurt you to walk here i thought you said you knew better than to lie to me darling did it hurt to walk here i see well then i suppose you'll be spending the night here oh don't you even begin to argue with me darling you have already gotten yourself into enough trouble as it is first you managed to hurt yourself and then you tried to continue working darling such things are absolutely inexcusable and as the princess and future queen of this kingdom it is my duty to make sure that you are properly punished for your mistakes oh yes darling i fully intend to punish you for this as a matter of fact your punishment is that you are not permitted to do anything but rest until that bruise has healed yes darling that's it unless you wish for me to be more severe 
What would that even consist of? Well, darling, considering how terribly you neglected your own health today, I would say that in order to be more severe, I would force you to eat all of your meals in bed. You are not allowed to move, not one inch, unless it is absolutely unavoidable. Yes, that would be considered absolutely unavoidable. However, you would take your meals there, you would rest there, you would not do a single thing aside from focusing on healing. Is that all? Is that all? No, darling. Since you insist on questioning my judgment, that is not all. I would also force you to read, write, or draw while you rested and recovered. In other words, I would force you to engage in any hobby of yours that can be done while sitting in bed, and I would force you into a number of other activities that you find enjoyment in. Oh, really? That doesn't sound so bad, does it? Then how about upping the stakes a little bit, darling? What do I mean? Any time you need to be bathed, I would force you to use only warm, soothing water in order to better relax your muscles. And if I felt particularly torturous, and I'm certain I would, I might force you to use scented oils and soaps so that the aroma of flowers can bring you joy. I am being deadly serious, darling. Why wouldn't I be? These don't sound like punishments at all, do they? Well, then, why don't you do these things for yourself? Did you also hit your head when you fell, darling? I've seen the way that you take care of yourself. You don't. You always prioritize your work over anything else. And while I can appreciate dedication to an extent... Darling, what you do is... is terribly unhealthy. You barely make time to eat or drink throughout the day. You never seem to take a moment to simply relax. And darling, I can tell that you're doing the bare minimum for your personal hygiene. You're going to make yourself sick. You didn't think that I would notice? Darling, I care about your health and well-being just as much as I care about my own. Perhaps even more. You don't understand why. Darling, you mean the world to me. You help me whenever I need you to. You listen to me whenever I need to talk. You... You treat me with such incredible kindness. I understand that it's your job, darling, when you're scheduled to work. However, even on your days off, I always manage to find you here, and you always make sure that you're there for me if I need you. Now, why is that, darling? Why? Don't look away from me. I want an answer. I beg your pardon? You think that... that I'll hate you for it? Darling, I could never hate you. Not in a million years. So please... Tell me why you insist on neglecting your health so that you can look after me.
you see me as more than just your employer. A friend, then? More than that, too. Darling. Darling, you need to say it. I won't believe the assumption that I've made unless you say it. You... You... Love me. You love me. Darling. I would like you to move over in the bed, please. Just do as I say. Oh, forgive me, darling. Did I hurt you? You're confused. About what, darling? What am I doing? I'm holding you, darling. What else? Why? Because this is what you do for the people you love when they're hurt. You hold them close and... You make absolutely certain that they know just how much they mean to you. Yes, darling. That is what I said. This is what you do for the people you love. But what about what, darling? Oh, what about the suitor I'm supposed to be meeting for dinner? Well, he never struck me as the type to be interested in someone like me. So I'm certain he'll appreciate having some time to himself. And besides, I would much rather be here with you, darling, than with him. And don't you ever forget that, not for one moment.